This is a New Zulu News Update. I'm Zach Simeone. In southern Afghanistan, a series of ongoing raids by the Taliban have left at least 26 police and soldiers killed, according to AFP. In one incident, a woman was killed after Taliban gunmen stormed a teacher training school in the Kandahar province. The attack triggered a 16-hour gun battle that also left six police officers injured. The Taliban has stepped up its anti-government violence despite Kabul's repeated overtures to reopen peace negotiations with the militant group. Just yesterday, a suicide blast outside a government complex in Zabul injured more than 70 people. Buddhist monks and communities gathered at the Budanat Stupa in Kathmandu on Tuesday to mark the one-month anniversary of the 7.8 magnitude earthquake that devastated much of the country on April 25th. The vigil was frequently interrupted by aftershocks, which continue to jolt the landlocked country, where thousands are still living in makeshift tents. According to the Times of India, more than 265 aftershocks have shaken the country since the second major earthquake on May 12th. Officials have warned that the makeshift campsites may not survive the summer monsoon season, slated to start next month due to heavy rain and the threat of further landslides. The United Nations is prioritizing relief over reconstruction as the country struggles to recover and rebuild. Dubbed as the world's largest festival of light, music, and ideas, Vivid Sydney 2015 opened on Friday, lighting up the sky with more than 60 light installations, including the Nautilus and the sea. The nautical-themed light display tells the story of Norbert the Nautilus and his journey through an underwater environment full of discarded human objects and villainous deep-sea characters. The festival is scheduled to continue for roughly two weeks, ending on June 8th. For New Zulu, I'm Zach Simeone.